My name is Sofia Cordova and I am an interdisciplinary artist from Carolina, Puerto Rico. My practice encompasses a great deal of media. I primarily work with video performance and music, but those elements live within discrete installations. So creating an environment um, for the viewer to be literally sunk into is important, um, even as my works tend to be time-based at their core. My work for a great many years has been focused on considering what possibilities for liberation exist for Black, Brown, colonized, and queer bodies um, in a long distant future. I'm not particularly interested in apocalypse itself. I'm interested again on what freedoms can be had on the other end of the total destruction of all of our systems. My creative approach is variable and I think that that influences clearly the fact that my work is um, multivalent in a lot of ways, not just materially, but also conceptually. I have become deliberately more ambiguous in terms of what I believe is possible. So in a sense, all of the work that I've been making is deeply interconnected, but at the same time proposes perhaps concurrent timelines where different outcomes are always possible. I am creating a work that asks more questions than gives out answers, and that's because I am really invested in the complete destruction of capitalism and the systems that currently bind us, um, capitalism as it extends into the trappings of gender and race, um, and how it reinforces the violences needed to maintain those um, very strict identity boundaries. So I'm always imbuing the work with the sense that there are many avenues to arrive at what I'm hoping is a collective shift unlike anything we've ever seen. I work alone typically because, I, again, I feel like all of my work has a sort of network of rules and ideas that it's very committed to, but I then tend to work with collaborators. But I am deliberately vague when I begin a project where I'm inviting other people to work with me because I want them to be able to imbue the work with their own ideas and their own embodiments. And sometimes it's not even verbal. Sometimes, you know, I work a lot with dancers and sometimes it's a physical kind of entry into the work that really um, changes the mood or the direction that the work had taken. I do spend a lot of time outside of my studio, so I find that places where, again, I can connect with the natural world are really important, and I also find that those are places where my mind starts to quiet, so I think it's really important for me to go on long walks and, again, have some sort of communion with the non-human world. Thank you.